All right, I got this Craftsman track back in. Uh, guy said he went to check the oil on it. It was overfilled. He said it smelled like gas, so he brought it to me. So, yeah, I already drained the oil out, and, yeah, it smelled like nothing but gas. Check the gas can. It's empty. So, so I mean, signs the carburetor. It, what it did is one of the valves were just right set open so right when it was it didn't seal right the float that poured gas into the motor that's common when you got a dirty carburetor so we're going to be working on cleaning the carburetor today all right normally when i go change my oil I'll take dipstick out and lay it to the side, lay it to a clean area so it don't get dirty. So before you start it, you'll realize, okay, there's no dipstick. So you remember to put oil on it before you start up and it doesn't lock it up. Because obviously right now it has no oil in it. It's still dripping out. Let it drain out. I will. You see it's still dripping down. And yeah. It's running down the frame, so I have to clean all that. They never put extensions. I don't know why they don't. Normally, sometimes I do. But in this case, I won't. The person didn't want to spend the extra money to do it. So. All right, I'm going to take the air filter off. Which, normally your hands should take that off. The screw. And your filter. If it needs to be changed, get you a new one, put it in it. Alright, we're going to be taking these two bolts off. That's right here to take this off. It is a 5... Oh, hang on a minute. 5 16 socket. And that vacuum home is, is kind of in my way right here to take that bolt out. Well, it's no big deal. I'll just let everything hang there. Or normally you just take it right out of the valve cover gasket or valve cover. All right. This one's got to shut off, so I already got the gas shut off. I'm going to take the gas line off. And I'll twist the line to break the seal helps a lot to do that normally you don't break your gas lines then if you do then you have to change them all uh oh I broke it all right these are 10 millimeters I'm gonna be taking them off two are out now you got a plastic piece that goes in between your motor remember which way it goes the longer part goes always inside the carburetor and then you have your governor rod and then you got that little spring don't forget that neither Right there is very small. I don't know if you can see it or not. All right, we're going to tear into this and see if we can get her cleaned up. All right, the bowl, it's half inch wrench. I'm going to take that off. And yeah. I don't know if you see, but there's a lot of garbage. See it right here? So I might have to do some cleaning on this really good. 
You can see it in the carburetor. That's really bad. All right, I'm gonna finish cleaning this up. Gotta pull that pin out to release your float. Sometimes it takes a little need to know pliers. Yeah, there's a lot of corrosion. Now, like mind you, in here, you do not want to be spraying no starting fluid through it, or, or starting fluid. Carb cleaner, because I eat that gasket that's in there. It's right there. Uh, I guess you can't see it, but it's a rubber deal. So we're going to bypass that. We're not going to bother, but I'm going to do all these other holes. And you want to get these gaskets off, which now, see, I didn't do that when I was expanding now. You see how it's expanding? That's because the starting fluid, or the carb cleaner done it. I a little wire toothbrush kind of deal. Go in here and clean this up. May look good. Make sure this nut right here, it's got all the holes through it. Make sure they're all clean. That one's going through. Yep, they're doing good. Sounds clean. I'm gonna scrub on the brush a little bit, or on the bowl. Get it cleaned up. And just remember, wear gloves. This is probably not a good idea for me not wearing gloves, but it is what it is. So, and then I'm gonna blow in every little hole that I can see. Try to get it all cleaned out as you can. Just watch your eyes. Put safety glasses on if you got to. This stuff is very dangerous on ice. And this carburetor, it ran good. I think it was just in the float. All right, I got it somewhat cleaned up. I'm gonna do a little more spraying, but I'm gonna take off my old gasket. Cause that's ruined. I have a new one set in here. Like I said, you cannot spray that carb cleaner on them gaskets. All they do is expand. And that's not a good deal. You could order your gasket kit. But when you do that, if you price out a new carburetor, it's just cheaper to buy a new carburetor. Sorry, I'm gonna blow some air through everything to make sure it's all right and good. And yes, air really helps out a lot. It pushes all the stuff back out of them, out of the jets and all that needs to be cleaned. All right, yeah, my plastic piece broke off, so I'll put a new one on it. Well, it's not new, it's used. I found another one. So I'm just going to put it on there. They just pop on and off, but my other one broke. I normally uh, glue around it just to make sure it reseals. All right, I'm going to put my needle and float back on, but I'm going to make sure, see this point? 
Clean as best you can. Make it look shiny. And that just slides. Slide right in there. I'm going to kind of hold it upside down kind of deal. Just like that. And it goes back in that. Like that. Then your pen that goes into your float. Oh. I'm going to do some cleaning in there. That needle is not setting in there very good. It's like stiff. You don't want that. You want to make sure that float and needle floats just perfect. Or it floods itself out. I have some carb cleaner deals that, you know, I play around with and use. That gets in there, cleans that up, shines it up. I don't know what you can see. I'm hoping you see pretty decent in there. Which that's what I have right here is doing a pretty good job. Like I said, I'm not trying to blow any carb cleaner in that area right there I'm working at. Because it's rubber. All I do is mess it up and, and close it up. Alright. I'm putting it in there. Now it's setting there really nice. Moves really well now. So I'm going to put my pen back in. Sometimes they only go one way, so I just got to play around with it to see. There it goes. And you don't want to be forcing too hard because obviously there's a, there's plastic. There. All right, I'm gonna put my new gasket on. For my bowl. All right, bowl's all good and clean. Make sure it is. I see some stuff that I want out of there. Looks good. I'm gonna put that back on. And there's still a gasket there. That's pretty good. And didn't get messed up. So we're going to tighten everything back down. I think we're pretty good now on that. And like I said, make sure you check your gaskets. Make sure they're not junk. If they are, get new ones or your new gaskets. Sometimes it's just easier to just order a new carburetor and put it on. But people sometimes want me to just clean it and not put a new one. So this is that type. Alright, I'm going to dump a little gas in the tank to flush the tank out just in case there's anything in it from, you know, because obviously the carburetor was pretty dirty. So you don't need much, just enough to wash things around. And you see it dumping out of the hose. Looks pretty good from what I checked. I'll let that drain. And I got an oil pan that, you know, the motor drain into that. I'm letting that drain into. I'm gonna let that drain out. Alright, I'm going to shut the gas off. Shut the gas cap. I don't want all them fumes on my garage when I'm working. Alright, we're going to put the carburetor back on. We're going to put our plastic piece into that carburetor. I'm 
All right, and then bolts. Oh, wait a minute. Jumping a gun. We gotta get our throttle cable back in there. Not throttle cable. Uh, governor rod and spring. Make sure you get both of them put on. Usually it's easier to put the spring on first. The spring goes in a little hole. The governor rod goes in the big hole. Yeah, you probably can't see. I'm supposed to have a new deal coming in that holds the phone a little bit better and gets me in a better spot so I can see things or where you can see. So when it does, I'll be definitely using that. So it gets me right to where you can see what needs to be done. I got that on now. I have your bolts, get them in there. Ten millimeter, like I said. And here, you know, don't use a power tool like I'm doing. It's usually you break things, but. It, I'm kind of used to mine. Sorry, I'm going to put the gas line back on. Gas line's going on. Make sure you put your hose clamp back on. There it is. All right, I'm gonna put some gas in this. I'm gonna test run it before I put everything on. Make sure it's gonna run right, you know, not pour out gas. Through the carburetor. Which I can't start it, think about it, because I got no oil, so I'm gonna put oil in it next too. But this gives a chance for the carburetor to fill up, make sure there's no holes, you know, in the gaskets. Anything's not gonna leak. And down here is where the plug was, where I drained it. It's three eighths. This is drained pretty good now, so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it up. Turn your gas back on so it does, the carburetor does fill up to see if it's gonna do anything. And normally, like I said, you put a tube, a little piece of pipe here, you know, kick it to 90 to where it doesn't drain all over here like it did. So I got that tightened up. I'm going to go ahead and put oil on it. It takes 530, 5W30 oil. All right, the motor only takes about half a quart of 530, 5W30 oil. I got it filled up. We're going to see if it's going to start. All right, yeah, I knocked my phone over when I first pulled it. So we're going to see if she just start. Get it all cleaned up, running again. I'm gonna turn the gas off. We're gonna put the rest of the stuff back on.
Nem a air breather back on and my top piece and there it is it's completed done thanks for watching subscribe doesn't cost you anything